Hi everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bee Boutique. So I've been making and teaching how to make jewelry for a very long time now. And one of the things that I hear all the time is, you make it look so easy. Well, that's because I think it is. So I'm gonna take some simple parts and some simple techniques, and I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own jewelry. So if you wanna see what I'm making today, come and join. Alright, so as part of my revisit and remake series, or whatever the heck I call this series, I have taken one of my most popular kits and I have revamped it. So a few years ago, I created the heart button bracelet kit, and it has been one of our perennial favorites. Everybody seems to love that one. And as soon as these mandala buttons came in, I knew I had to recreate that bracelet. So I've made it exactly the same where I've used the one millimeter leather and some of the TRCast large hole beads and this sliding uh, feature on the back, which is nice is that silicone slider. And then I've put that beautiful mandala button in the middle. So this particular one has been made with their new 40 in this line. It is the um, antique silver and I've used all the antique silver parts on that. And then this one is with, with of course their antique uh, copper and I've uh, paired that with the black leather. So those are just a couple of the ideas that you can um, create with the kits. So when you uh, choose your kit you get to pick the color of the metal and I believe there's four colors. There's bright silver, antique silver, antique copper and uh, gold. So and then you would get to choose any um, color of your leather that you would like. So this one is so simple to throw together. It literally just takes under about five minutes to make. It always works out. It's really great because you can size this however you want. So it's perfect uh, for gift giving or for, I'm gonna keep this one myself because I love it. I, I made it just to fit me. So I'm going to roll the original video after this one because it's identical. We're just swapping out the buttons. So you make it exactly the same as you did with the heart button bracelet. So I hope you enjoy these ones. They're so much fun to create and so wearable and I just love them. So I'm gonna run the video now. I wanna thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. This cute little leather bracelet. We have about 50 inches of one millimeter leather. I have four of these little um, large hole decorative beads. I have a beautiful tiara cast button. And for our clasp, we're gonna be using one of these silicone sliders. So the outside is metal and the inside is silicone. And this one can accommodate up to four pieces of one millimeter leather. I'm also gonna be using one of our barrel knot tubes, a pair of sharp scissors, and some GS Hypo cement. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my leather and I'm gonna cut it in half. So I just put my two pieces together, run it down and find the midway point and give that a snip is run my one piece of leather through my button shank and it doesn't matter which um, one, which side you go on because we're going to be doing it on both sides. Now I've got the meeting sort of equal parts. I'm going to take this top one and I'm going to pull it over by about, I don't know, maybe a good two inches. So I just mark it with my finger and I'm just going to sort of pull out double that. So there we go. So just what it's going to do, if you can see now, is that it has offset that one Let's see, we're just gonna pull it back. Maybe this is an easier way to show you. You're just gonna offset that by about, you know, four inches or so, because this is the one that we're gonna be using to do our wrapping with. So now I've got my longer one on the top and my shorter one on the bottom. So I'm gonna be taking my little barrel knot tube and I'm gonna place it in between the leather and using my long one, which is the one on top, I'm gonna to bring that around to the front and wrap it around neatly. And I'm gonna be working towards my left hand. So I'm gonna go one more time and then one more time. So I've got three nice little wraps, nice and neat. I'm gonna take the end of that leather, pop it through the little tube, pull the tube out, and then pull the leather. Now I don't wanna tighten that up yet because I wanna make sure that I can get this knot down towards the button. So I just kinda of push it down with the opposite one, not the one that I'm gonna tighten with. And then once I get it right on the other side there, I just start tightening it up. 
There we go. And I don't want to pull too hard. This is only one millimeter leather. It can be a little bit, I, I don't want to say fragile, but if you were to just reef on it, it would crack the leather and, and snap it off. So I'm doing sort of a push and pull motion and I'm just being really super careful. So now we have our nice little um, knot there. So now I'm going to take one of the little large hole beads that I've got and I'm going to place it over both pieces of the leather. And I'm going to run that down. There we go. So now I'm going to push that up there. So now I'm going to find out which one is my long one. So there we go. Up, there's our long one. So I want to make sure that's on the top. So again, I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to place my barrel knot tube in there, take the long one, bring it around to the front and wrap it around once. Wrap it around twice, wrap it around three times, and then take my tail and put it through the back end of the tube, pull the tube off. And you can see I'm always holding on to that knot. I don't want the knot to go anywhere. And now I want to make sure I move it down, get it positioned where I want it before I tighten it up. So sometimes that can take a little bit of finagling and the odd time your knot will go awry on you. If it does, just you know undo it before you tighten it up and uh, redo your knot. So I just take my time. You can see I'm sort of manipulating the knot, getting it back into position. Once it's where I want it to be, then I tighten it up. So there we go, there's our nice little knotted section. So now I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. Normally I would just sort of fast forward and show you uh, you know, the next step, but I like to show these knots because not everybody can figure out how to do them, so we'll do them again together. So now I'm gonna take my two pieces, they're equal. So I'm gonna take this top one and I'm gonna just offset it by about four inches or so. So there we go, maybe I can pull it off just a little more. So I just wanna have a little more on the top than on the bottom, because that's the one that we're going to be wrapping with, so we need a little extra length. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my barrel knot tube, place it between the two pieces of leather, I'm gonna grab the top one and bring it underneath and around to the front, and wrap it once, twice, three times, Every time I say that, I hear that Commodore song in my, is it Commodores or is it just, um, what's that guy's name? You know, <laughs> the lead singer of the Commodores where he sings, you know, three times a lady. I hear that in my head every time I do this. And I've had a few people comment saying that that's what they hear too. <laughs> uh, Lionel Richie, that's what his name is. Oh, goodness, I swear, being 60, you lose everything in your brain cells. <laughs> okay, so let's tighten this up. And you can see I take my time. Even though I've made 10 million of these suckers, I still take my time. I find if I rush it, they never turn out. So I just wanna have those knots on either side. So you see how cute that looks? I love that little look there. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my large hole bead on. And if you can't get it through, like if, you know, all leathers are different. So a one millimeter black leather might be a little bit uh, wider than the one millimeter brown leather. It's just the way they come. There's no, it's not us, it's the manufacturer. So what I do is I just cut that on a little bit of a sharp angle and it will usually, you know, just poke right through there. Uh, sometimes you have to go on a really sharp angle to get it through. There we go. So if you're having trouble trying to get your leather through things, just go on a nice sharp angle. And I find pulling one at a time versus trying to pull the two sometimes helps. It makes it a little bit easier to get it down where you want it. So I'm gonna push that up there and I'm gonna find my long one, which is this one here. And we're gonna do another um, barrel knot. So take your tube, place it in between, bring that one around to the front. We're gonna go once, twice, three times. Thank you, Lionel, for making a song that makes me crazy every time I make these. <laughs> it's funny how we get things in our head. Okay, so before I tighten that up, you can see I've got a long ways to go, so I'm going to push that down, making sure that they don't separate, and they often do. So I'm just going to manipulate that before it does. There we go. That one wanted to go crazy on me, but I just make sure that they're still stacked up. One, two, three in a row there. Okay, so that's what we've got now. And the nice thing about this button is that it was meant to go this way, but I thought it would look really cute with our leather like that. And then it actually, you can just have that at the top. So I thought that was a really kind of a cute thing. Okay, so now let's put our clasp on. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on my clasp. So I'm gonna take one end 
and I'm going to run that through the hole of the silicone clasp and that will go through there no problem at all. Now sometimes the second uh, part can be a little bit on the tough side to do. So one of the things that I like to do is try and put both of them through at the same time of course but that doesn't always work. So what I like to do is sort of bunch them all up together and I find it easier to try to push the clasp on top of the leather versus trying to stuff the leather through. So I'm going to try and get that on there. And usually what happens is you can get one in, but not the other. Now these are start, starting to get a little bit blunt on the end because we've been working with it. So I'm gonna cut them on a real sharp angle and cut that one on a sharp angle. And sometimes that will make it easier. But I'm gonna show you a little bit of a trick to make it really easy. So I'm gonna take one of them and I can get that through no problem. I just line that up with the end and I'm just going to push that. You see how I'm pushing it over top versus trying to pull it in? So we've got one in there. Now, if you've got a pair of uh, really fine, sharp uh, tweezers, take that and line that right up on top there so that you've got, you don't even hardly have anything showing other than tweezers. And I'm gonna take that and I'm going to push it right through the end and there's my piece. So if you've got um, a needle, like a large eye needle or a pair of tweezers, that might be the thing that helps you. I got, um, in my other sample that I've got here, this popped through no problem at all, but this color is just a little tiny bit wider, so it makes it a little bit harder. But there's always a trick that you can um, use when you're making your jewelry. So now what I wanna do is pull these closed a little bit. I wanna have them even. So I'm just gonna even that out. And sometimes you have to um, work this around a little bit. I don't wanna have any twists and turns in this leather. So I get that sort of straightened out. And what I'm trying to straighten out is the main body here, not these little sort of spidery ends. Just get those turned so that they're nice and flat. And it just takes a little minute of bossing your leather around. Okay, so now I'm gonna to try to make it even so that it's even with the button. Now what you have to do is make this so that it will fit over your hand. And it doesn't have to be really um, a loose fit, but so I've got a really big hand, so I have to make this quite large. So I'm probably not gonna make it to fit over mine because we'll probably use this as a sample in the store. But you wanna have it so that you can easily get it over top of your hand. And you can see that this one does The sample that I made up, you can see when I extend it all the way, it fits nicely over my hand. So that's the measurement that we wanna use right now is make sure that you can get this easily over your hand and uh, that's the point that you're gonna stop. So once you have that figured out where you want that to be, you're just gonna kind of leave it. And we're now gonna take one of the ends and you're gonna put a large hole bead on there. And then we're going to take our barrel knot tube. So I'm, I'm gonna go about a quarter of an inch away from that end there. We're gonna take our barrel knot tube and we're just gonna do a two wrap. So just go around once and twice and then put that through the end, pull that out, and then tighten that up right next to that little bead. So just gonna kind of finagle that down a little bit. So this is one of the reasons why I give you so much leather in this kit, is it's a whole lot easier to make knots and things like that when you've got a lot of leather versus a little tiny bit of leather. Um, I just can't work with little bits of leather in my hand. It would make me crazy. So, <laughs> so now we're just gonna tighten that up and I'm gonna give that a pretty tight pull. So I've got just a little knot there, and then I'm gonna repeat on the other side. So take my two little pieces that I've got left over, and I'm going to put my large hole bead on there. And then pull those down. So they're about, you know, that's maybe a quarter of an inch away from the clasp take my barrel knot tube and make a two wrap knot. So go once, twice, and then put that through the end. And then tighten that up. And again, one of my little tricks is put my thumbnail on the other side and push against it and that will help tighten that up. Okay, so now we've got our little ends done. So I'm going to trim those off and you can leave these um, longer and dangle them if you want or just trim them off. It's your piece, you can do whatever you like. 
and I'm going to take a little bit of GS Hypo and I'm going to come in at the end of this knot here and put a little bit of glue because the end knots are the ones that take the punishment so we want to make sure that those have a little bit of glue on them. So here you go, there is our completed bracelet. So when it's um, at its most open, that's when you can slide it on and you can just decide which way you want your heart. So I want to maybe have my little heart at the top there. So I just run it over my hand like that. And then what I do is I grab hold of one side with my um, middle finger there and then I just tighten it up with my other hand. So and then you can see it just kind of pops on there nicely. And I think that is just the cutest little bracelet. So here's the one that I was working on today. So this will be available in kit form. They'll come in two different colors. So we'll have our antique pewter and the antique brass. And then you'll have a lot of different color choices for the leather. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from everybody. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.